Dallas kind of blew up in our faces. We need to be looking at the bigger picture. We want to protect the veil. We first and foremost need to protect the Cloud Ark. Rohan, I think we're still a little fuzzy here. What exactly is the Cloud Ark? It's our city's network. Our infrastructure. Our people. Our defenses. Everything depends on it. And what we're doing now is stopping the Vex from siphoning energy from the Cloud Arch reactor. If you do that, the Veil's safe, the Neomuni are safe. Bing, bang, boom. Dargaritas on Rohan. Make your way to the Cloud Arc reactor. We'll head to the central power junction. Once you cycle the system, we'll be able to return power to the reactor. We're on it. Just so we're clear, if the Cloud Arc is lost, what does that mean for the Neomuni? All our citizens have uploaded their consciousness into the Cloud Arc. No Cloud Arc means lights out for everyone in Neomuna. Ah, so it's bad. Got it. That's another one of those pockets of darkness energy. Should we get a closer look? It worked that time. Why did it work that time? Huh. It's like you're pulling on some kind of invisible ropes. I'm detecting those sources as a concentration of energy coming from a common source. It's got to be the veil. Like some sort of magnetic field all around Neomuna. Let's keep an eye out for more of those.
Ian, I'm almost at the central power junction. Ready to blast this power back to the cloud arc once you've cycled the system. Hold on. These Vex are short-circuiting voluntarily. Ah, okay. You'll have to clean up those Vex confluxes before heading to the reactor. We haven't observed this kind of behavior before. Hope you're taking notes, Nimbus. Of the Headless Robot Dance? Yeah, I've seen it before. It's gotta be a way for them to create a gateway to the Cloud Arc. Or express themselves emotionally. I don't know, who can say, honestly. This station's power output is unbelievable. Earth was decades away from technology like this, even during the Golden Age. The Cloud Arc needs a lot of juice. Like we said earlier, it supports all the Neo Mooney, the city's defenses, and also the Veil's defenses. Once we get that power, we'll have all the backup we need to take back the Veil from Kallus. That's good. We're going to need all the help we can get. It's escaping. Wait, why did it leave? Weird. Something's off. Keep going, but keep an eye out. in place, and I can see you're coming up to the reactor. Stop the Vex from siphoning the station and we're golden.
That does it. How's it looking, Rohan? Hmm. Something still siphoning power. Look around for any remaining Vex influence. feels off here. That was a little too easy. Uh, what do you say we expedite that exit, folks? I got Shadow Legion on my tail. What? What are they doing here? Well, considering I'm getting shot at, I'd say it's for us. Get out of there, Guardian. It's a trap. Never get yourself out of there. Okay, and that's a bomb. Mapping an escape route. Still in the ruck part. More of those paracausal strands. They're probably the best chance we've got to get out of here. Guardian, I'm detecting bombs. A lot of bombs. The Shadow Legion are trying to lock us in. Remapping the escape route. They're swarming! Get out of there now!
Okay, we need to get out of here fast. I found a way out. We're going up. Going up. Up! Now right! Causal superposition? Like magnetic pole. You've been busy. Well? For so long, we saw Dark and Light as antagonists. We believed we were the champions of the good because we wielded the light. If these are not moral forces, if they are not opposites, what are they? At its root, the Traveler is a terraformer, a, a gardener. It generates natural life, physical transformation at a molecular scale across whole planet. This should have been our first hint. The domain of the light is the domain of the physical. The darkness then is revealed in many facets. Dreams and nightmares, emotions, pain, memory. The nature of Strand confirms this line of thinking. Darkness is something entirely apart from light. A paracausal union, conjoining intangible conscious realities, discursively linking to... You're talking about the River of Souls. River? Yeah, it's a story we tell kids on Neptune. A nursery rhyme. Sort of. Since before history, there's been this raging river. In the story, some try to divert the river. Others try to build a dam. But nothing stops it. Lots of people have believed that we either sink in the water or learn to swim. Don't we? See, that's the real wild part. We are the river. And empowered by it. It would seem. You know, I think I know of a place where we can find some of that power. I talked with Osiris. You know, he gives off uptight museum volunteer vibes, but he's a nice guy when you catch him one-on-one. -on -one. He got me thinking which is a compliment I can give very few people. There's a place nearby you two might find useful for your strand stuff. I'll get you the coordinates. Speaking of compliments, you, you never fail to amaze me, you know that? Everything that's come at us, you're just like, oh, bam, pew, pew, spot, cow. And suddenly whatever's coming at us ain't coming at us anymore. And we just keep doing it. 
like it's nothing. Wow. The first time Rohan told me I did a good job, I'd given up hoping for it, and by the time I got it, I didn't need it. In hindsight, I think he did that on purpose, but whatever. I promised myself I'd do it different when I took over. The old man might think compliments go straight to your head. But if that helps you, Strandify, and us take down Callus, by all means, let it go to your head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Upon first glance, this new power appears unstable and chaotic. But I wonder if that's based on our approach. Too much, too fast. These Puka creatures are curious ones. They appear semi-organic, but Nimbus claims they're a form of artificial intelligence. A fascinating, albeit odd, being nonetheless. Their attraction to this paracausal power seems instinctual. They flow in and around it effortlessly, and very clingy. When I first realized you were from Earth, I remembered the stories. The immortal light-bearing warriors chosen by the Traveler, like figures out of myth. But what do myths care about ordinary people? I imagine warlords conquering Neomuna, or gods crushing us underfoot. I was wrong. Now when I see you, I see a comrade in arms. Someone who will stand with me to defend Neomuna and its people. I see a guardian. 